Welcome in to KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Coming to you live from Mountain View High School as we've got, boy, a big time second round matchup as the Tip View Tip Thunderbirds prepare to take on the East Lippers. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Please be joined by Moose Bingham. Moose, this has been a postseason matchup that we've been familiar with over the years. It's been a while. But, oh, man, it all comes back to us here in 22. Great matchup tonight here on KSL Sports Rewind. Dan, I am so stoked that that ball is going to fly through the back of the end zone. Great job, Isaac Hudson. We're going to comment on kickers. We're going to do a lot of good stuff here. But I am stoked. East will no take over two better run programs line. in the state. I'd put these guys against anyone. Great coaches, great people, great communities. This is just going to be a great football game, Dan. Well, we can start with the East Leopards. The visiting team, they'll start on offense. White jerseys tonight. And look, this is an East group. They've battled with a ton of injuries, Moose. But they have found a way to finish second in region, in region six and finding themselves here. That dynamic offense, the option here, trying to pull off an upset as... Uh, They'll start here in the wishbone, going on the ground. That carry up the middle. Pick up of a couple yards there on the carry for Michael Fanua. This is going to be a great game. I love mean some number two, Amini Amone, yeah, I and I love Michael Fanua. Amini Amone has Fanua. already committed to game University of play, Reno, Nevada. Down. He is an absolute dude down there. There's a couple of Mones that you're going to hear about, but this offensive line is big, and they love to run the rock. Tucker McCormick, the junior quarterback, could be a big factor as he hands off here. And not much there. This tip view front, look, we've seen them a couple times, Moose. Yeah, Ali and Sarah, they are big up front. They are tough to run the football against. Yeah, Mote Munga, you've got one of the biggest defensive linebackers in the game in Siale Acera. I was talking with Coach Maddish before the game, and he's like, that man's a defensive tackle that moves like a middle linebacker. And I said, yes, sir, he is. The Cougars wish he was playing for him today. <laughs> oh, that ball fumbled. McCormick was down, had the knee down. They will call that. Fumble and on a third on the and six, number eight, McCormick, McCormick has to just He's take stopped. the knee as he recovers it. And it will be a fourth down line. here That'll for East. And six. I really like Tucker McCormick. He had 180 yards passing, and most offenses would be like, what a pedestrian performance. Not for this East team. That is throwing the ball through the air and getting things done. But now we get to see my favorite play, the punt. Let's see what Amini Amone does here. I was going to say, it's your guy, the running back, Amone. Is this punt away? And that one bobbled on the turf. I think Tim, you got back on it. And now we'll have a chance to see this Tim, you offense for the first time tonight, Moose. One that has been dynamic this year. You talk about a ground game that has been extremely effective, and they can throw the football, too. Yeah, I had two all-Utah running backs. As it happens to be, one is Micah Beckstead, and the other one is Amini Amone. Between the two of them, there are thousands and thousands of yards. Amini Amone has been playing since I feel like before I was born at this point. He's the Britton Covey of Utah High School football. But Micah Bexton waited his turn, and he's an absolute dude. Going to be fun to watch tonight on offense for the Thunderbirds. And it looks like they're starting off with their quarterback, the freshman, Helaman Kasuga. First down for Tim View, and it will start at their own 43. They'll go on the ground. Bexted able to pick up a couple. Hanover on the right side. As, uh, look, we talk about Timmy Michael running, Bexted. but this East defensive front, they're no slouches either, either Moose. No, you've got some absolute dudes. The per Zion Andreasen committed to Utah State. I love that kid, but he's not the one that has the most sacks in the state. Do you know who it is for East? Yes, I do, because I wrote it down. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I don't know how to say the name though. Papa Matalau? Yep, Papa Matalau. You love to see the kid overactive defensive line and that's what you expect to see. And then they're supported by Omar Shaw. On second down. Looking downfield, has a man wide open. Turning back inside to the 10-5 touchdown to you. Jared Esplin, what a great receiver. This is the problem with facing East. You double cover Nakua, who's there? It's Esplin. 
I was listening to Tim Pew in the summer, and they're like, we got a dude. I'm like, I know, you've got Nakua. They're like, no, 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 we've got a dude. I'm like, I know, Pokai Hunga. They're like, wait, we've got another dude. I'm like, Jared Esplin? And they're like, yes, we've got so many guys to throw to. We don't know who's throwing to them or who's going to be bringing the ball down, but it's going to be six every time. And flags here. Too late in the season to have this, Dane. Yeah. I'm a special teams coordinator. I'm losing offside my mind. And that was actually called on East. So the offside call there will put this half the distance to the goal, the to the goal. here for the T-Birds. I think it's not an advantage to take that penalty as the kicker. You're used to the PAT. He's going nine yards. Ugh, it's just rough. Go for two at this point. Oh, high snap. Oh. Able to get down, kick up, and the kick is good. 7-0, Tim Hughes scoring on their first offensive possession. They have a lead here in the second round of the 5A playoffs. You're watching the postseason only on kslsports.com. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, we share a room, even without words. Smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Stonehaven Dental. Schedule online at stonehavendental.com. Welcome back. 7-0 Tim View. Couple plays, Tim View in the end zone, Moose. Good opening drive for the T-Birds. Great opening drive, but don't count East out yet. They put up 70, that's right, 7-0. Not one touchdown, but 10 last week against the Skyline Eagles. But can we just talk about how cool that, okay, great kickoff, who cares? It's in the end zone. But what I really want to talk about is the PAT and Quezon Villa the with the snag out of the air with the horrible snap. What a great job. Quezon, you're my player of the day so far. I don't even know if he got the knee back down to hold it. It almost looked like he just like <laughs> squatted to get that ball played so they could get it away. It's going to be on his huddle highlight. He's like, not <laughs> only can be. I play quarterback, it wide receiver, be. running back, I can be your holder too, coach. So second drive of the game for East went three and out on their first possession. We apologize, our clock not working right now. We will do our best to get that functioning for you. 10.04 left here in the first quarter and on first down, a run. Looking right side and that's Amone. You can see how difficult he is to bring down. Boy, good, tough physical run. Amini Amone has had tons of cousin at the D1 level from Philip Amone from Orlando to a bunch of other Amones. There's another Amone on this team that I really like. I'm guessing his younger brother plays linebacker as well. And he's an absolute dude. There's just a bunch of Amones and they're fun to watch. John Amone is that Amone. Second down. Looking right side again on the dive. And he's going to be close to a first down here. Think they might have it. I believe they do. Looks like they crossed the 30. This East O line is absolutely monstrous. I love their tight end as well. Matthew Frederick, he's committed to BYU. I think he's going to be an offensive tackle at the next level, but don't tell him that because he thinks he's a tight end. And then I really like me some Jonathan Bramilla. He's an absolute dude yeah, over at tackle. Could play defensive tackle, could play O-line, could be anything. First down for East. And this is Amone again. Amine up, gain of about seven yards on the carry. Best carry of the day there for the Leopards. Here's the deal. If you're going to be playing defense against a Brandon Maddich run the offense, you and better bring 15, your big Haven boy Halliday. pants. Not only that, Second your big boy clothing and any other big boy things you've got because it is a tough offense to defend against and you don't know where the ball is and what's going on. Always a tough one. It's not an offense that throws the football often, but when they do, it hasn't been bad. McCormick's done a pretty good job. He was not the starter at quarterback when the year started. Injuries forced the junior to step in that role a little bit early and he's been good for this offense at quarterback. Yeah, two touchdowns, 180 yards in the air. Got a check mark from me. 
They'll go on the sweep. Nice carry here. Is that was number 24 for Nua again. First down for Michael the Leopards, Fanua. and they're starting to find Around that rhythm, side. Moose. Yep, Michael Fanua. He's a kid we're going to talk a lot for sure. The interesting thing is with this Timview team, you've got some 2025, 2026 kids with Division One offers on this East team. They're deep. They've got a lot of dudes, especially on the defensive front. And it's going to be a battle from minute one to minute 100 in this game, however long it goes. First down, McCormick. And he'll meet Siali Asera there. Asera, that middle linebacker, floats so well. Number eight, Tucker Dana McCormick, just won on the right Tucker. side with the quarterback keeper. There's lots of Tucker people in this world I'd love to meet. Siali there's lots Asera. of places I'd like to go, Dane. But there's no one I'd like to meet less and no place I'd like to meet them less than Siali Asera in a gap. Oh, he's a big boy, Dane. <laughs> I was going to say, he's a good kid, Moose. Come on. I would love to but, meet him off the field. Yeah, I'll give the, him a hug. I'll dap him up. Wait, but in a hole? No. When you said in the gap, I was like, I get it. I get it. I'm with you. <laughs> Second down. Here's Amone into the pile there. Gain of two. Another third and, and long here two, for the Amini Leopards. Amone up the middle. <laughs> it's a tough, play. tough job to be a Second cornerback playing Mabes. against these teams. And number, 19, number 16, Asiya Gali. That'll bring He's one of those guys that has scholarship offers. He has a Cal offer already, the freshman. But he is sitting there frustrated as can be. He says, Coach, I want to be in the action. I don't want to be out here on an island by myself never knowing when they're going to throw the ball. So it's going to be fun to watch what they do here. And coming out with trips. Whoa, oh, shotgun. No. East. Oh. Look at this. McCormick uh, sent up the little screen. And Timview was ready for it. Defended well there by the T-Birds. And it was Ciali Acera <laughs> in on the stop for the Timview D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Siale, absolute dude. Basketball but that's the thing of legends. Coach Maddich has been teasing that to me the last two years. He says know, a few right? things to me. He says, Moose, I'm the best looking coach in this state. And I said, Coach, I can't argue with that. And he says, I'll be going in shotgun this year. And I says, Coach, I can argue with that one. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Every year I feel like, hey, this year we're going to throw the football. And uh, hey, they did. So tip of the cap. Boy, Whoa. high, high, and Timview able to get on that. A couple punts here moves were early on for Timview. They've kind of yeah. gone in the air to corral it. And by number 13, boy, maybe Thomas fortunate Burnett. that it hasn't bit him yet. <laughs> yeah. Take over Great puntings by Amone. Horrible right. returning by the T-Birds, no matter who's back there so far. Got to catch the ball before you make the moves. Second drive for the T-Birds. 538 left here in the first quarter. Opening drive through the air, found the end zone. If uh, you're tip you moves, how aggressive are you to go back to the air here, or do you try to reestablish that run game? Well, you play to your strengths, and it seems to be a run, run, pass for tip view. There's now the they run. Will run. Big hole up the middle, and Micah Beckstead across midfield. One leopard to beat to the 20, the 10, and tripped up Micah Beckstead to the oh. three. And you can see that young man exhausted. But he was Chase Barker saving the touchdown. Chase Barker doing what he does, supreme athlete. But Micah Beckstead, he's rumbling, he's rolling, and he's just not quite fast enough to get the touchdown. Bless his little heart. Man, he had an angle. I was like, he's going to do this. He's like, I've got, got it. I've up. got it. I don't got it. And you know, that's the thing about Micah. You see him. I mean, he fills out pads, right? Yes, he does. And he's got good speed to him. Like, he's quicker than you think. And you make a wrong read, wrong angle, and you're behind the action. There's some kids in this state, when they put pads on, you're like, you're a football player. Micah Beckstead is not one of those players. You put pads on him, and you're like, you're for sure a football player. Ah, uh, they give it back to 14. Ah. And Beckstead is in. Touchdown, tip you. They let him finish Micah off what he started. It's 13 nothing. <laughs> Micah Beckstead, like I said, he's an absolute dude no matter where he's playing. That's a scary thing, seeing a lineman down for tip you, 51. I'm not even going to attempt that name, but he, I'm going to call him MT. But always scary to see a lineman down. And I absolutely hate this crap, Dane. Just get in, well, except for Spencer Fano at the slot. I like that. <laughs> but everything else I hate about this. We talked about this, what, a week ago maybe? Maybe oh. two weeks? You're like, just line up. Just kick it. Give Kason the 
deserve the credit he deserves for this hold. Better Beauty. snap, kick up, and it is good. 14 0. Tempview. Good start Larson. for the T Birds. You're watching the 5A State so Playoffs the on KSL Sports. The score Tempview 14, East 0. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low rate line of credit. Ready for whatever life throws at you. To learn more or start your application, visit uccu.com or stop by any branch. Oh, it is. Welcome back. 14 nothing. Tip you. What a great start for this tip you offense. And boy, it makes you wonder East Moose. This offense, it can be, it can score a lot of points. But when you trail multiple possessions, it can be hard to come back. They got a lot of game left. But uh, boy, this feels like a critical drive for the Leopards. There's a few people I never doubt in my life. Number one, my wife. Number two, Brandon Maddich. With another good kick. Yeah, another kick into the back of the end zone. Touchback. Isaac Hudson and for the, the third touchback. time, East will start East from their own, their own 20. But let's, let's talk about the hold by Quezon Villa. That's let's all I care it. about. Let's do it. Quezon Villa coming in, holding the ball down, getting the job done. We never, we never highlight the holder. We'll make fun of the snapper a little bit. We'll always highlight the kicker, but the holder is the most important part of that whole entire operation. And Quezon's doing a gosh darn good job. Third drive of the game for the Leopards. Last drive, they found a little bit of momentum, but Tim, you got the stop. What do they have here? McCormick, oh boy, he lost his pitch man. Looked like miscommunication. McCormick gonna lose a couple here on the play. You know what, sometimes you zig when you're supposed to zag, and you zag when you're supposed to zig. But McCormick, he's still a great quarterback, and he's still doing a lot of good things. Yeah, that was one where Always hard to know, right? Not being inside the offense, if that's on the QB, the running back, regardless, it's a broken play. And fortunately, they maybe only lost four on that play, but sets a behind schedule. All I know is seeing is believing, and I saw trips with a shotgun formation. Bring it back, Maddox, bring it back. A ah, little reverse here, Fanua gonna turn back inside, and he's met. Gain of maybe Gain of two, and not Michael much Fanua else there on the right Fanua. side. Yeah, looks like it was Ephraim Muvesi, and, and my foul. goodness, what a big boy. That's the thing. Timview doesn't have as many kids as you'd expect a 6A team to have. But the kids they have are very quality kids that almost every school in the country at the next level would love to have at least one or two of them. Third and 12. Timview students trying to make noise here. No shotgun on third down here, Moose. I'm surprised, but you got guys spread out. McCormick looking near side, has a man that caught and brought down. Gain of about four there for the Basket Leopards five, as it Chase was Parker, Parker on the reception Parker and it'll bring up a fourth Isa down here for East. Yeah, Isa Naliale. That'll bring up four. Just a fun nine, name to say, Isa Naliale. I like saying it. He's a freshman though, just a youngin, getting his job done, Dane. And it's fun to see when you've got a quarterback as a freshman doing those things, making those tackles, especially on a guy like Chase Parker. But let's watch the most intriguing play in all of special teams, the punt by Amini Amone. I was curious if East was gonna think about going for it, nearly blocked away. Boy, good kick from Amone, fair catch taken. Thereby, all red back at his own 38 yard Fair line. Made of the 38 yard line. First Man. down, Tempe. So, I think we should leave 13 back there, Jackson, all red for the rest of the game. First one to successfully catch a punt. I know, Mar I know, not Marky, Donnie Ottawa is going to be working on that facet for the rest of the year. He's like, they punt, you catch. They punt, you catch. That's all that's going to matter. It'll be Helaman Kasuga again. He's been fantastic for the T-Birds this year. And on first down, how about a little pitch there to Vea coming around. Isaiah able to pick up about four yards on the carry. Pitch around the right yeah, side, number one. Great Isaiah job by, by Isaiah. I loved how East flowed right there. And I love Push seeing 3-3. Three, three. John Amone. And, and John Amone. Like I said, we'll be talking about the these middle linebackers. John Amone. 
and Omar Shaw. Does that Shaw name sound familiar to you at all? Uh, I, I know. Uh, he's he's a baller. He is a baller. His dad was a baller. Yep. His brother's a baller. Their whole family are ballers. And his dad's one of my favorite people in the entire world. And Sharif Shaw. Love that man. Second and eight here for the T-Birds. Motion from Via. They'll go on the ground. Beckstead again, another big lane, and Micah across the 50 to the 43-yard line, and Micah continues to chew a big yardage. Dude, just like Nova Kane, you don't even have to give him time. You get him going, he gets a turn, and he is a Cadillac back there. That's why he's one of our all-Utah players. Yeah. We do want to let you know we got the clock sorted out. So that's an unofficial clock in case you couldn't tell from the first quarter missing. We do our best to keep it synced here uh, with the official clock in the stadium. At times we'll see it start early, stop it early, that sort of a thing. Just a, two and a half to go here in the first. And they will go to Beckstead again through one tackle and brought down. And that's a nice stop made to in the Beckstead backfield the right side. by Tuai. And that's the kind of Gain play they need from this front tackle made to by slow up Beckstead. Well, here's the thing. You don't know what to do. You stack the box. You're like, we're taking Beckstead away. Then you've got number 10, Tay Nakua, sitting right there. And if the Nakua name sounds familiar to you, it, it is. gosh darn should. <laughs> My goodness. There's only been about 29 of them. Just kidding. There's only been five. But this is the baby. Oh, mm. good clap. Yeah, veteran three guys move. jump on that veteran one. Veteran move right there. And he's just a freshman. I see you, Helaman oh, Kasuga. Defense. It'll be Not a many people can clap like Second that, down, but Helaman can. That's a great way. We talk about that line play having to be aggressive against the run. That's a great way to maybe insert a little bit more tentativeness, right? Mm. Second and short. Kasuga looking deep. This is for Nakua just overthrown. Boy, Nakua. How's your head, buddy? Yeah, try to get That's some late separation on that late. 10, and uh, he's still down here. Coverage on the play back up. Zero, Spencer. Yeah. So Nakua is one of my favorite kids. Four, Last year, which feels like an eternity ago, when you could wear face paint, he had a smiley face on one and a frowny face on other cheek. And he is just a funny, fun kid. But he's going to want that one back. Thank you, Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got a random question for you. We'll, we'll wait till after this play. It's a third down, and they don't hand it off here. Kasuga throws the out. That's caught. And it's Via with the reception. First down, Pass a gain of five for Tim View. Via the quarterback. Nay, via the holder. Nay, via the wide receiver. Yeah. I, he's, you know. Multi-purpose kid, right? I was laughing. Navy's been liking a lot of his tweets. They've been sending him stuff. Ah. Good luck in your game. And I was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Kenny Newman's We're on to you. I see you. Hey, what do you think of the blue helmets for uh, Tim View? Blue They're logos. high. They're high. All right. I had to do a double take. I was like, no orange. I was kind of surprised. To the ground. On first down. Taking contact and just keeping driving. It's Beckstead. Still on his feet to the five. And is he in? Give him the touchdown. touchdown Tim View. Yeah. Micah Beckstead rolling over Micah defenders. Beckstead. And it's 20 to nothing. <laughs> Kasuga is celebrating as hard as anyone, which I love. He's like, I did such a good job handing that ball off. But Micah Beckstead, it doesn't take one man to take him down. It doesn't take three or five. It takes 11 gosh darn leopards. And they better be wrapping up. Wow, Micah Beckstead. If you keep this up, you might be our player of the game. It's Goodness. still it from our immortal holder, Kaysan Villa. I think the only person who didn't think he was down was Micah Beckstead and the officials. <laughs> Point after up. It's good. It's 21 Tim View all over East here in the first. You're watching the 5A playoffs on KSLSports.com. For over 25 years, Salt Lake Running Company has helped people of all ages and levels find the gear they need to start their fitness journey. From a free custom shoe fit analysis to a premium assortment of footwear and workout essentials, SLRC is a top 10 run shop in America. Locally owned, locally operated at five locations along the Wasatch Front, SLRC is there to help you gear up and get out. Visit a store near you or shop online at slrc.com. Welcome back. Uh, 21 nothing. Moose, I did not see this coming. <clears throat> I didn't either. But I'm not going to count the Leopards out Not yet. over. But, man, what a start for Tim View and for East. 
Man, just got to find that rhythm, right? Yeah, they're doing good. And it could be a kick return here. It's going to be something. They're going to pop open something. And you never know. But I've been very impressed with Micah Beckstead. I thought he was the best. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, he's, he's decent. Has about 150 yards and three tuds on the night, which is okay. But my goodness, what a stud. This kick, guess what? Touchback. That's a Another touch good back. guess. You said you had For a question earlier, though, Dave. Yeah, it was the blue. It was the blue logo on the lids. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blue logo. Yeah, yeah. It, I know. I'm a traditionalist. I like the orange. Well, and, and here's the thing. I am too, and it's why I actually loved the T-Bird script last year. I was like, that is awesome. That's a mm. great look. Yeah, I like it too. This, it's an interesting look. These high schools are getting more and more money, it seems like, to get more and more uniforms for everybody. But the blue fire uniforms, I like it. First down for East. They'll go. No, McCormick keeps it. Looking left side. Tucker wrapped up. Good run there for Tucker McCormick. Gain of eight. On the left side for number and eight, you see why this Tucker offense McCormick. can be so difficult, right? That's a great read. Tackle I always laugh. Two, My two, wife two, is two, like, two, why don't they just tackle the guy with the ball? And two, it's that easy. And I'm like, you don't understand because you don't know who has the ball. Right. And she's like, that's so sneaky. I'm like, yes, it is. It's a great way to play football, mm -hmm. and it's fun. But it's difficult when you get down. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. But this defensive line has done a pretty impressive job, if you ask me. They've been pretty stout. Second and two for the Leopards. Amone. Mm. Nope. McCormick again. He'll have the first down and more. And tell you what, maybe something that keeps this on the this East offense will say McCormick because he's making those reads. Something he's seeing Tackle is, hey, if they're going to crash down on Amone on that dive, there's run, running lanes for the quarterback First to make. Down. And just like there's problems, Amone has literally been playing since he was a freshman. And when you go against Timview, there's problems. When you go against East, there's problems. you got to pick your problems. End of the first quarter, 21-0. Timview leading East. You're watching the 5A playoffs on kslsports.com. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low-rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low-rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low rate line of credit ready for whatever life throws at you to learn more or start your application visit uccu.com or stop by any branch for over 25 years salt lake running company has helped people of all ages and levels find the gear they need to start their fitness journey from a free custom shoe fit analysis to a premium assortment of footwear and workout essentials, SLRC is a top 10 run shop in America. Locally owned, locally operated at five locations along the Wasatch Front, SLRC is there to help you gear up and get out. Visit a store near you or shop online at slrc.com. Welcome back. Start of the second quarter. First down for the Leopards, and it's McCormick again. And this time he'll be met near the line of scrimmage. Gain a one there for Tucker. Man, this East offense, they're the just side. churning and churning and churning and churning and burning and burning and burning and burning. Tackle made by number 17. McCormick has been impressive, eight, though. Jacob yeah. Frost. Gave yeah, he's done a nice job today. Upcoming for East. You know, I think just the one throw, yeah. right? But it was a completion. It was. Went for a couple yards. It was a third and long. They got, I think, half of it. But uh, do, you, do you expect East to maybe throw a little bit more here, given the score, Moose? They may. And if I'm throwing, I'm looking at 16, Matthew Frederick. He is a dude. They'll hand this off. This is little Jarek. Able to run around that left side, first down for the Leopards, and I like and introducing a little three, more versatility to the offense as well, right? You get some of those sweeps going to the edge runs, the trying line. to open up that interior dive. That'll be enough for yeah. first down. That's the thing. Once you get used to running to the edges, all of a sudden it's going to come right down the middle and yep. smack you in the mouth. Yep. So let's go to history a little bit. A little bit of questioning, Dane. What team in Utah history had the most yards ever? in Utah history? Rushing? Anything. All yards. Passing, rushing, whatever. East. What year? 2016, is that right? Check and check. You've got a mastermind on you, Dave. You want to know why? 
Oh, straight give to Amone up the middle. Love that. You get Amone downhill. You want to know why? Poor K. Okay, here we go. Tackle made by number nine. Maybe an unpopular take, hot take. Gain of six. Best offense I've ever seen. Second and four. Whoa! Best offense ever. Have you been to Draper? Yes. Have you been to Sandy? Yes. That's a pretty good take right there. They had a great old line. They had five D1 guys up front. That's true. I mean, like, they had Jalen Ward, who just happens to be in the NFL right now. I like that was best offense I've ever seen. And look, during the season, I didn't think that until the state championship came. Hand off up the middle to number two. Now, I remember talking to Brandon and Maddox before, a gain of and he made a statement. I was play. like, okay, bring up like third done. and three. And for the leopard. I'm just telling you, best offense I've ever seen. That is quite a statement from you, Dane. And I've only covered for 15 years, right? So I can't speak to like the old skylines or some of the history there, but well, last 15 years, that would be my number one pick. If I was drafting offense, that's my number one pick. When I was watching Reno Mahe in the 90s and Payson back in 1978, that was a good offense. I'm totally joking. Well, and because here's the other thing. Amone, third down run, back oh. right in the hole, nowhere to go. And it's not like they played the it. They went the and beat De La Salle that year. Jalen Warren rushed for like 250 no on, on De La Salle. Fourth and so, three like, for the East that offense. resume, I just, That's yeah. a good resume. Boom. There now you go. we've got an interesting situation here, Dane. Yes, you do. Well, I think you go for it. back to the present. That's what I think Maddich is thinking, too. But... You still have Ciale Acera. You do. Right there in the middle. You do. Do you do you push the edge here? Oh, I'm looking at number 16 out here, split wide. That's a mismatch. That, I'm always looking for that. That would pass, be Frederick. Though. Oh, they'll look for a little counter here with Fanua. And I think he got it. Needed to get to the 40. I think he got to the 39. Both sidelines have it. Yes, first down Michael east. Michael Tonua. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Made by number nine, JJ Tua. Man, riverboat rolling. Nine Brandon Maddich coming in. To the 39-yard line. Really I got first no down. problem with it. <laughs> I love it. I'm not a gambling man like you are, Dane. You won't see me grace in Nevada anytime soon. Look, here's the thing. I grew up in Idaho, right? <laughs> yep. I may have won a scratch ticket. You stop here. Uh, crazy, right? Well, we're in the good state of Utah where we don't scratch anything but our neighbor's back. I, I know. <laughs> I know. It'd never be heard of here. But, hey, one and oh, baby. Uh, and here he is. <laughs> oh, he's got a man deep. Instead, we'll give Frederick oh. wide open space for Matthew. Inside the 22, the 11. Boy, and they had Chase Barker bursting to the end zone uncovered. Number 16, Matthew what Frederick, Frederick will do. Nice game, first and 10. You know what? A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, and Frederick has some secure hands right there, and it was wide open. Here's the thing. You could have gone for it all. No one would have blamed you, but right now it's about getting points, and if you got Frederick wide open, take it with this offense, offensive line, like, hey, we'll get there. Yeah. Frederick was one of my all Utah players, honorable mention, because I was like, you know what? He has 300 yards. That's a butt. That, that's a lot. Yeah. For an offense that's thrown coming into the game for just under 900, that's a third of the yards. That's pretty doggone good. Fanua. Oh, man. Looked like he had a hole. And next thing you know, Cielia Sarah yeah, is just on him. And we're going to get a flag Michael here. Fanua. I think it's going to be on Timmy and Fanua. No Boy, he really got there is a in a really bad angle. He's being helped up here. The penalty flag, there were whistles. You saw, I think, Sarah continue to try to take him to the ground. I think that's what the flag is going to be for as we await the call here. Yeah, a little bit aggressive tackling. Football is a contact sport last time I checked. And, and Fanua down here. Oh, that's not good. And, and you talk about an offense that's had to deal with a lot of injuries. This is not the sight anyone wants to see, but let alone an East offense that's been really having to battle with this all year long. Injury. Uh, Fanua up. Personal foul has been called on the Timpy It was defense. a personal foul. We're going to step aside briefly. We'll be back Still after this. Now. Welcome back. Sarah was able to put some weight on the leg. Good sign. Certainly hope he's okay being evaluated on the sideline. Not a player you can afford to miss if you're East. Already, again, being down some bodies and trying to get back healthy. We'll see, uh, see how he is. Meanwhile, second and goal. Oh! They'll run it, try to push that pile. 
Gain of about three, maybe four on the carry. Two, I mean, Looks like to be four. Here's the deal. They had the just a meaty back line. there. They're It'll like, we're going to run it down the middle. You know we're tied. running it down the middle. We know we're running it down the middle. Let's go. And we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh. Third and goal from the one for the Leopards. Man. You go shotgun here, right? No, not here. Not with this <laughs> offense. If we were one yard back further, I'd go shotgun. Amone in the backfield. They'll give it to Amini. Try to... Oh, boy, he is close. I think... Did the second you know, surge get it? They got him down inside the one. Hand up and it will be fourth and goal. Two, Amini Amone. Go for Amini it. End zone. That'll be fourth and goal for East High. It's very rare that I don't say, let's get the kicker in there. I know. Right now, give it to Amini Amone. You have to go for it here, right? I mean, he got four yards. He got one yards. Now let's get one more and give it to him. It's Amone and Little in the backfield, and now a timeout going to be taken by Timview. The T-Birds want to get the defense set. Fourth and goal for East when we come back. Timeout called by Timview. Fourth and goal. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low-rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low-rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low-rate line of credit. Ready for whatever life throws at you. To learn more or start your application, visit uccu.com or stop by any branch. Offering amazing incentives and Welcome choices back. for employees to redeem their awards. Award Co. helps keep employees happy Fourth and goal. in times of economic uncertainty. It looked like East. For more information, go to Award Co. Adam Mone and Little. Just going to power it in. Moose, you looking dive here? I and am looking dive. I mean, I'd be less surprised if a diver at an Olympic size diving board didn't dive like East is going to right now. Eyes in. A Mone touchdown. Bodies flying everywhere. Yeah, you I'm love to see it. Amone. And Amone is in the end, end zone. zone. Touchdown. Let's time. freaking go, Dane. Oh, man. I love to see this. I love to see just best on best football. And that's what that was. Great call by Maddich. Great execution by East. And Timpu held strong on defense. This is becoming a game right here with the PAT. Point after, up, point after, good. 21-7, Tivu leading East. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's game of Extra the week. Point is good. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low rate line of credit. Ready for whatever life throws at you. To learn more or start your application, visit uccu.com or stop by any branch. I was talking with the kicking coach for East before the game, and he says, right. we should get this in the end zone every time, but we'll see what happens here. It's returnable. Looks like the freshman's got it. Ooh. Little dancing moves right there, Dan. You love to see return it. Return made by number 15. Ah, nice return there. Want to apologize. Working through some technical difficulties here. Is, uh, trying over. to get First things down. settled. First down <laughs> with Tivio coming out at their own 24. And who was that returning? No one else but Isa Nalii. Love piece of Isa Nalii. He was on my all Utah underclassmen team, in fact. That's how much I love that young man. Should be fun. But Tim Bue has to keep scoring to keep this East offense off the field. Well, at least keep separation, right? On first down, Kasuga throwing back. That intended for Nakua, nothing there. Just kind of throwing it away. Good that job. Incomplete, run away by the quarterback. That's what you Number like two, to see from a freshman two. quarterback that's sitting there and seeing like, I don't Second like what ten. I see. I'm going to throw this away and play another day. Yeah, boy, you know, it's so impressive. We saw him week one against Lone Peak, and it was like, he does not play like a freshman. No. 
He plays like a second year freshman if there's such a thing. Well, he plays like he's very experienced, very cool, very calm. They'll hand off here. This is Beckstead. Boy, he has been just a diamond tonight. Is running that right side, and he's got a gain of 16 on, on the right carry. Side, Micah, Micah Beckstead. Man, 15 he has been a beast. That's enough for there, <laughs> there were running backs that I've called dime pieces before because they get 10 yards a carry. He's a diamond piece. He's getting like touchdowns, 10 yards, 80 yards, 40 yards, and you never think he's going down either. It was between him and Tuone. But now it's just the Beckstead show. A uh, little screen, Nakua on first down, working outside, still inbounds before being pushed out. Cross the 50, down to the Passing 44, first 10, down, Tay Nakua. Had a nice little flex at the end there. He's yeah. feeling himself. Yeah. Okay, Tay. You talk about one of the great postseason rivalries. It's this one. These two teams met every year in the playoffs from 2011 to 2016. Every year in the playoffs over wow. that six year stretch. East has won the last three. They lead the series 7-5. Tim, you're trying to take that postseason pride back. Now, that was interrupted. East went up to 6A. Obviously, that doesn't jive with a 5A team. It's really kind of what broke that, <laughs> but back in 5A, and now we, we kind of resume it in what has appeared to be uh, a rivalry destined for postseason play every year. Hannah, yeah, super two really super fun at. good teams. Gain of three on the With play. these two teams, I expect whoever the wins this game to make a huge run in the playoffs. It certainly could have that feel. Uh, we'll get into playoff matchups as things progress. Second down, Kasuga has a man over the middle, on target, caught and tackled at the 19-yard line. That's Vea with the reception. Pass complete, the Does one. anything yeah, phase yeah. Helaman Kasuga? No. I mean, made by that dude, 13, he's Thomas emotionless. Burnett. If you're an That's a, Avatar fan, the face stealer wouldn't get his face because he shows no emotion out there. He's calm, cool, collected. I just love watching me some Helaman Kasuga and his stripling warriors out there. You talk about the bracket. Tim, you would play the winner of Spanish Fork and Wasatch. That would be a quarterfinal matchup. Should they win that, the winner of that game would face potentially Springville, Alta, Bountiful, or Orem. Imagine Tim, you Orem again in the semifinal. <laughs> this side of the bracket just set up for some great matchups and look even Tim View Battleful would be a fun game Tim View Springville like there's there's some interesting matchups in there you're leaving Alta out come on dude don't you leave Alta out I know we're down to our sixth string quarterback I'll tell you this man Alta in the first week of the playoffs like whoa where was that all year it's because we found our quarterback Hawks fly together hot hashtag caca yeah yeah well, they found something because they dropped 44 on Bonneville. It's like, oh, man. Yep. No gain there on second down, bring 35. Proud Alto alum right here. I couldn't tell. Is that is that where you win? Yep. We're used to winning state titles per use. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing Beckstead here. He. Uh, Let's do a little check with me. Yeah, give it to our running back that's popping off 40 you, yards you, and 80 yards. I was going to say, you think you'd give it to the guy who's averaging 12 a carry? Yeah, that's it. All right. It is, is only third and five. Oh, apparently not. leak him out of the backfield. Look at end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Tempview. It's Vea. Wow. Isaiah Vaea. Touchdown. Isaiah Vaea. So here's the thing. I'll highlight one receiver, and then we'll go to the next. I'll highlight that receiver. Then we'll go to the next. I'll highlight that receiver. Then we'll go to the next. I'm going to start highlighting old linemen. I'm sick of hopping from wide receiver to wide receiver. All right, let's talk about the guard, shall we? <laughs> let's talk about Spencer Fondo for a second. He's down to his top five schools. Oh, good for him. Yep. He's I got didn't a, see that. He's got a commitment date on December 6th. Mm. Good hold, case on. Yeah, yes. kick up, kick good. 28-7. Tim View has not after. been stopped tonight. Three You're watching the second the round of the 5A playoffs score. on kslsports.com. Welcome back. 28-7, Tim View. <laughs> All Tim right. has not been stalled on a drive yet. No, they're very good at the football, Dane. I'll be honest with you. But once again, I hate this. Just line up, do your thing, stop playing games, and let's watch it. But like I was talking about with Spencer Fono, down to his five. We've got the Kooks. We've got the Utes. We've got Michigan. We've got Idaho. Clemson. No, we don't have <laughs> Idaho. We've got Clemson, and we've got 
the Ducks of Oregon. Mm. Oh, that one they let go. That could have been returnable. Touch yeah. Amelia yeah. Mone, get back there, quick, He's young man. <laughs> hurry, hurry. He did the right thing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But agreed. Come on, Amini. Oh, super fun. There's other games in this city. It looks like the Cougs are playing too. We'll give you an update. It's three to seven. They're losing. Sad, sad day right now. Hopefully they can come back for you BYU fans, and hopefully they can't for you Utah fans. <laughs> Moose, he's a pleaser, folks. <laughs> First down for the Leopards, starting at their own 20. Oh, passing opportunity here. And sack by number sack 20. In the backfield by number 22, Steven Strong. Steven Strong with the sack. Haven't called his name, but a strong effort right there. Great job. The linebacker. Defensive end, kind of hybrid player, does a little bit of everything. Good kid. Oh, but fun to watch. This is the situation you don't want, Dane. You don't want to be behind the sticks with this type of offense, with one of your top running backs out and having to be in passing situations. But it is nice to have Frederick out there. Oh, good run. Little sweep around the edges. Get the broom out and, and start sweeping because they found Tackle some made on the play by number 15, yardage Haven by Jarek Little. That'll Great bring a third right there. and long for the East offense. So East has been sputtering. They've had some stuff going. They've Ooh. had to kind of stop and get going. It's just interesting to watch. Big down here, Dane. Would you be passing it? Would you be running it? I think you have to throw it inside of two minutes. It's just one where, well, I don't know, actually. Maybe you don't. Could we see some shotgun here? Probably not, but we could see a run. Oh, it's a fake. Ah, uh, trying to screen. set up the screen and couldn't oh. get it tracked down there by Muavesi. Ephraim Muavesi coming in there, 44. In the backfield by number this defense is Ephraim a lot Muavesi. faster Fourth and than long the Skyline defense high. from last week. Skyline's defense was missing Bote. That had Miles Hall, another BYU commit who had a heck of a game. A little back and forth battle, but right now Time there's a timeout game. Atawaya got out there. He said, I want to talk with my team about what we're going to be doing with this fourth down. Only a minute 24 left. So they have to be going in, taking care of everything. Detail. We always welcome and new patients with have that, a strong commitment to providing you an the opponent. The clock time gives them enough time, on time to score another touchdown. We it you is 28 to 7. Technology but on the if you could get Dr. another sept on there, that'd be big. Jacob at their Pro Bowl office. Boy, and with the way that Tivius ran the football, insurance agency proudly uh, serving Utah County and the surrounding areas boy, for over 45 years. This is uh, give them a call for a quote on your automobile homeowner's business. Tivius may be looking here needs. to go, kind of knock them while they're down, right? Yeah. Ice Nolly Eye was back there earlier, but now it's our sure-handed number 13, Jackson Allred. He's all hands. Punts away oh. off the side of the foot. Oh, bad oh, bounce. Yeah. Tim View is going to be inside the 40. Punt is down at the They will have great field line, position. Will take over. Good call by Donnie Otsuaya with the timeout, preserving time. But might have left him at more than enough time, actually, Dane. Yeah, I mean, you're 37 yards away. You've got Minute just one 16. timeout, but 116 left on an offense that had gashing running plays and has moved the ball through the air pretty well as well. Yeah, really complete team right here. Kasuga looking, has a man. That's Nakua inside the 20, driving a push out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Pass complete to number 10, uh, Tay Nakua down to the Tay Nakua has line. offers to That's multiple Pac-12 schools, all the local schools. He's had them since he was a nine, ninth grader. Mm. I almost said nine-year-old, but heck, <laughs> with the last name Nakua, I might have offered him at nine years old. Wouldn't matter. But Hilmi Kasuga, he's calm, cool, collected, doing a great job here for all of our fans in Hawaii. First down, out of oh. the backfield, it's Beckstead. Touchdown, Tipview. Two My. plays, 37 yards, six Michael more for Beckstead. the T-Birds. Well, let's highlight the O-line because Beckstead's had enough love tonight. The O-line. 
a lie. They've got so many good things. They have two amazing tackles, a great center in Izzy, and two amazing guards. When I came out with my all Utah team, I had Spencer Fano as my number one tackle. And he said, where are my four other brothers? What are you doing, Moose? Doing me dirty. And I said, Spencer, calm down. They're all very good, but there's a lot of other players in this state. And they're making me eat my words right now. It was only 38 yards, but it literally took, what, 16 seconds? 13. 13. Extra point is good. 35 7. Tim so Yu leading left. East in the, first half. In the second call. round of the 5 A state playoffs. East. Seven. Welcome back. I want to thank those of you sticking with us. A lot of technical issues tonight. We apologize Ooh. as this kick off well into the end zone for the touchback. <laughs> it's always fun to do a kickoff. When you got Isaac Hudson sitting there, he's like, y'all don't need to run to the end zone. I'm not going to. That was a beautiful kick. I'm just going to admire it. Feels like a golf shot with your driver just sitting there, and you just observe, and you say, I bet you wish you could do that, huh? Now it's time for East to come out. Got to make some magic happen. Looks like we've got trips again. Shotgun, Dane. Yeah, 103 to go. They do have all three timeouts. Oh, just kidding. Under center. Oh, oh it worked. How about Amone? Nice run there for Amini. Gain of 15 up to the 35. Sometimes just the threat yeah. of a shotgun from East scares people. And it is a scary time Ball's of the year being the October. Tip, you thought they saw a ghost East. with East being in shotgun. Well, and it's a it's a kind of a late change on the field as well, right? So you come out, you're looking to go wide and shotgun that Ladies defense. And feeling thirsty? Maybe spread Stop that a little bit. You quick today. run up. There are so many options to make you smile. So listen, can create some opportunities for you. Yeah, yeah, super fun so to see. And sometimes it's just the threat. You want people time. seeing ghosts out there. And Experience the Tim, you sure did. America's first Brazilian state. Are you a Sam Darnold fan, fan apparently, huh? I was seeing ghosts, coach, everywhere. That's not good, Sam. Probably shouldn't be seeing that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you the way to handle that is the way Zach Wilson did. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> that's what, just some things are better not said, right? Like that's that's a better not said. The whole ghost thing. Were you seeing ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, but I was seeing a cover two that turned into a cover one. <laughs> there you go. There that's you go. That's the appropriate answer. Oh, now we just have one man in the backfield in ice at safety. Oh, throwing to Frederick, just oh. beyond him by about a yard. He took a hit anyway. He was hearing footsteps, but then he realized, oh, I'm 6'6". Six, six. Footsteps don't really matter when you're 16, as big as I am. Frederick. Coverage on the play by number 16, Isa Naleai. So Frederick is one of my favorite tight ends Second in the state. And 10, when I first started watching him as a sophomore, I had to go back into Roman times and pull out a sundial to time his 40-yard dash. He was so slow off the line. Now I've got a hand timer. He's getting out quick. He's finally grown into his body, and it's fun to watch Matthew Frederick. Did you like that reference I back? I did, yeah, yeah. Back to the olden days, zero BCE. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I caught it. Sundial. We're like, Moose, we don't use those Time very out often. Called by Time out taken here by East. You know, you talk about the Leopards. Their season got off to a rough start. One point loss to Orem. Tough week two against Sky Ridge. A lot of teams felt that pain. And then they got back on the winning side, first win against Fremont, then hit region play. The win over Park City felt like, all right, here's the stamp of what this team can be. Had to deal with IMG. No one's winning that ball game in the state this year. What? No one? No. Against IMG? 
They only have 40 Division One commits. Crazy, right? That's it. Yeah, I know. When the backup kicker has a Division One scholarship. Look, I'm making people in Draper, including <laughs> Dusty, very upset right now. But then they hit the rest of their region schedule. The only loss was the loss to Brighton, 14-3. That's a pretty good defensive effort against a really good Bengals squad. Defeated everyone else in that region. And, of course, went skyline back-to-back -to, -back to find themselves here in the second round. A As, pass! Yeah, this is... Asioli Deflected oh. and oh. nearly intercepted. Boy, probably should have been for Tipview. Oh, that close. <laughs> I've been saying for a while. I'm like, Asioli Sarah is a big boy. And he's probably going to be a D tackle. And then he moves like that, and you're like, I don't think he is. Yeah. He might stay at Mike Vacker. Oh my goodness. Yeah, boy. Peter and Sarah, <laughs> your son is flying high tonight. Wow. He brought uh, he brought another gear, as has most of Tim. Third and ten for the East. Peter keeps happens. trying to convince me. He's like, when I was younger, I'd move like Ciala, and I'm like, I don't know about that one, Pete. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, third and ten for East. And we've got another timeout here going to be taken by the East Leopards. Time, time, out East. time out of the first half. Third and ten. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's been asking me, what's your player comparison for Ciala Yacera? Oh. Oh, coach got the grab. Good job. And I've been asked many times. They're like, where do you see be him at the next and level? And I've been saying Vita Via for a while now. Wow. Dave. Wow. I'm like, he's got the body that can put on 100 pounds and still move that way. That's, that's a comp, man. Like, <laughs> but... That's when he moves like that, I'm like, oh, I might be wrong. <laughs> He's just breaking the mold. Wow. But Vita Vita, you can see him drop into coverage often. That is true. Which is confusing as all get out. Uh, uh, agreed. And see, Alias Sarah has that type of ability. East, Tim, Tim might be able to throw on another touchdown. I was going to say, East a punt here. And if you're Tim you got one timeout left. You're like, all right, yeah, we'll take the ball back. Good punt to Mone. Taken at the 32. 33 seconds to go here in the first the half. Two yard line where Timpy will take over. Do you, uh, I take you a knee. The middle here? I take a knee. All right. Uh, that's what I would do too. You'll get plenty of second half opportunities. And, and really like you don't want to end on a sour note, right? No, you want to keep it sweet. Let's take the knee. Let's go to the halftime. But I don't know. Donnie, he's still getting used to everything. You have Coach Stokes down there. Yeah. The offensive coordinator, you never know what Coach Stokes will do. He'll be like, when I was at Dixie, I didn't like these. We're going for it. it I, don't, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like it's a knee situation. On first down. Oh, they're passing. We're going. Nakua down the middle. He's got him and just overthrew. Boy, Nakua had a step boost. Tay Nakua is going to want that one back. Thank you, Dusty. Oh. Boy, Nakua had a great first step. And look, give credit to Black. He did a nice job staying with Nakua. That ball just a yard overthrown. Yeah, Spencer Black, or Chase. Yeah, Spencer Black. Yep. He's a kid I really like. He's got a lot of opportunities at the next level. This 10 viewer line has been really impressive because they have basically shut down East at this point. Second down, Kasuga. Looking over the middle, has a target, and that is knocked out. Passing That's a nice defensive seven, play being yeah. made as Esplin was hit right as the ball Antikolo. got there. That was Antikolo with yeah. the uh, breakup. Yeah, Damien Antikolo, thank you for that pronunciation because I was looking at it. 
and I, <laughs> ooh, my eyes went cross-eyed and I couldn't quite pronounce it out. But that's all right. It's interesting that they're just going for shots right here. Might give the ball back. Got an official stoppage here, wanting to just chat. I don't think the clock ran. I've got 18 seconds left. I was kind of on the start and stop that time. I know we've had clock issues, but look, on a second and 10 with 25 seconds to go, I'm your guy. <laughs> and uh, I felt pretty good with that one. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, okay. No, never mind. Well, just. I was wrong. Okay. They do have 24 on the clock here in the stadium. They'll go on the ground, and it's a first down. Pick up of 14. And it doesn't have to be Beckstead. Luke Atuaya no. 12 on the play. That'll be enough for a T-Bird. And Tim, you're taking a timeout here. They'll stop the clock. Just <laughs> under 18 seconds left. We're going to keep our clock there. But, yeah, this is Donnie saying, hey, I can take you. two shots with 17 seconds. Yeah. And with the quarterback... Let you have for Tim View in Helaman Kasuga, you absolutely can take shots. The dude's got a cannon for an arm, he's got a bright future. Their one one of their losses to Lehigh, he didn't play that game. Mm. That's gonna be something that if he comes back, that would be, be like, noteworthy. They're like, oh, you know what? We won 28 24, but our 28th or fourth touchdown was off a of Quezon Villa interception for a touchdown. I don't know if Helaman makes that interception. That's fair. V has had a nice year at quarterback. He's, but to your point, a healthy tip view is a different tip view. Yeah. So, I think what we've seen tonight, there are not a lot of teams beating that effort from what we saw in that first half. No. And they're going to take some shots here again. Yeah, first down. Kasuga stepping up in the pocket, coming near side, caught and out of bounds. The reception was Nakua to the 38. So that was a beautiful play right there. Tay's sitting there. He's like, Ooh, not one foot in, but two. He's getting ready for the NFL already. Yeah, he is. Yes. Good job, Tay. He's had one brother, Samson, who was with the Colts for a breath of fresh air. He's had another brother, Kai Nakua, who's played for the 49ers and the Jets and the Ravens. He's like, I want to be the third brother to really ball out. Kasuga looking, has a man. That is caught, and no whistles. Their, their one is. Six, they blow it. 1.8. That clock worked a little bit. That's they're going to try to hurry up and spike it, but I don't think they're going to have enough time here, Moose. No, they won't. Oh. So that will do it. First half comes to a close. 35-7, tip you. Man, they look That's sharp. The first they lead East. You're score. watching the second round of the 5A playoffs. East. Seven. on kslsports.com. And welcome back, start of the second half. Hope you uh, enjoyed the dancing festivities on the field. I'm enjoying the moose. He's breaking down next to me right now. You know what, Dane? I'm super cold. And like Kesha says, I'm dancing like I'm dumb, dumb, dumb because my body's going numb, numb, numb. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a factual statement oh, right now. Look I'm at that. dancing in my hokas because they're cold. You know what's keeping Moose warm? What? Last update. Alta was leading Springville 31-0 at the break. Oh, don't you dare doubt the Hawks. When Man. we were talking earlier, you're like, Springville's going through already. And I'm like, wait a second there. Yeah. Hey, look. There's still a lot of football left to be played in that one. But according, yeah, I mean, <laughs> dang. Yeah, and Moose, Springville's no joke. I might have to no some more fish or something, man. Oh, don't tempt me. Dane is a fisher of men and a fisher of fish in Alaska. <laughs> or a fisher of fish in Alaska. This kick <laughs> into the end zone. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. momentum, Moose. Momentum. Uh, <laughs> yeah, risky, risky, risky from Ice Nalliai. Oh. So, boy, Tim you starting with the ball. Really, the only thing they did not do well in the first half was score on the final possession when they had to go 70 plus yards in 40 seconds. And they only went in 50. Yeah. Other than that, everything in the first half, Tim you did whatever they wanted, Moose. And it starts with the line up front. I love all these linemen. They all think they're wide receivers and real athletes. I mean, real, real like specialist athletes. They're they real think 
athletes. They're real athletes. They're, they're, they're real crazy. athletes out there. Oh, wow. East came out with a vengeance yeah, they right did. there. You like to see it. There's some fire. Up the middle. You yeah. know, Maddich at halftime, he was throwing fire and brimstone all sure. around that locker room. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is an East program. Um, you know, I don't, I don't have the halftime scores, but I would dare say this is one of the largest halftime deficits this program has had this year. IMG is probably the other one that you would want to check on that. But Actually, they played IMG tough. IMG in pulled half? away in, in the, the second, third okay, quarter. Okay. Low, close to the fourth quarter. It's just one where this is just not what East generally does, right, is, is have a half like that. We'll see if they can get things going here in the second half. Kasuga looking near side. That was caught by Eswin. But uh, gain there of about five. Uh, six. Seven, Jared Esplin. Good little gain there. Helaman is deceptively quick for a freshman. The going and getting out of the pocket, finding lanes. Really impressive young man right there. Bring him a third down here for Timview. I'd guess he's a 4.0 student. His dad wouldn't have it any other way. But I don't know if the first report cards have come out for him yet. <laughs> Oh. I did hear from someone that quarters, it's right around now when the first quarter ends, so it could very well be. Penalty flags here. Ooh. And we got a penalty here on Timbu. And look, that's the other thing about Timbu. We've not TV seen a lot of penalties on Timbu tonight. No. Timbu, they must have been eating right, living right, praying right, doing everything right, because that first half went about as good as you could possibly yeah. ask for. And so now you've got a third and 11. Now we've seen them pick up chunk yards both on the ground through the air this would be a big play for this east defense oh they've got man cover zero should be bringing the house let's see here's kasuga has an option deep instead on the end that caught first down boy pops Pass complete across the middle to number 13. Jackson omar Allred. shaw comes in with a big That's hit a on two. jackson Allred. but here's the frustrating thing if you're a defensive coordinator you get a three and seven three and eight and they get the first down that was a third and 11 because of the penalty oh my bad third but, and 11. but you're right i mean it's like man we did so well to get them in a spot where we can get a stop and then that they get a first down surprise surprise here we go they'll go back to the ground beckstead and through the lane beckstead, beckstead across midfield Micah inside the 40 to the 39, tripped up and there the by uh, Spence Barker. Chase Barker doing a great job Chase getting the Barker. tackle. He That's was surprised. Beckstead was surprised. Everyone was surprised. But Beckstead just keeps on going with his diamond status average of about 20 yards a touch. Boy, and he's even contacted at the line, slips through the tackle. And next thing you know, you got a whole bunch of space for a fast physical downhill runner and in East Territory once again are the T-Birds first down Micah Beckstead once again nowhere to go great run yeah, defense the there by Pontetefa the, by the junior 52. making the stop behind Vaca the line of scrimmage Pontetefa. yeah Vaca Pontetefa say that 10 times fast and you still won't be able to say it right it seems but Vaca Pontetefa did a great job right there getting upfield and getting after Beckstead. You know what? I've been saying it all year. I think Beckstead, college coaches are going to be kicking themselves if yep. they don't get him on yep. their roster. Yep. Reminds me of an East running back, Jalen Warren. I was thinking the same thing. Who we love. Love Jalen Warren. This thrown out by Aya. Oh. Takes it down to the 31 and a late flag. Ah. Is, he was, right I think, side, thrown down Isaiah after he'd gone Isaiah. out of bounds. So we'll tack him more yards on, on here play. for the Tabers. Oh, man. He's going to be watching the film with his old man later. And Sharif is not going to like that. Personal foul called. Just want to remind all the naysayers out there. Jalen Ward's in the NFL. The That'll be enough for there you go. That's an update I wasn't expecting. When did that happen? Yeah, I, crazy, huh? Him and Man. Najee Harris. I, I just, shocking. He made it there with the lack of breakaway speed. I was laughing. Sarcasm, folks. <laughs> Najee Harris was our number one recruit. Why is it BYU? And I'm like, y'all know we're not getting this, dude. <laughs> oh, shoot. Makes you wonder if they have Arch Manning on the board. Uh, gain here of about three on the run. Yeah, they're like, we think we can get him. I was like, in what world? 
That dude would start seven. for us right now, and we're going after him when he was a freshman sophomore. Yeah. He actually came to campus, though. Wow. Yeah. Came to campus, checked it out, said, hey, fam is going to pay me more. <laughs> <laughs> and no, that no. Was that. Come on, that's where you lose me. There's no way that's accurate. Oh yeah, Come NIL on. is the first time players have ever gotten first paid. time ever. Yeah, Reggie Bush never got money. He didn't. His parents did. Lindell Second White down. never got money either. I know those poor kids, right? Yeah. Second and six. Oh, has a man end zone looking corner broken up. <laughs> oh my Great goodness. coverage there by Thomas Burnett. <laughs> Deflected away. It was good coverage, but it hit him in the head, Dane. I mean, this quarterback is phenomenal. Third and six upcoming for the team. There's a reason I had him on my all freshman and sophomore team as my starting quarterback. Even though there's kids in the state that had more yards, this dude can ball. Wow. Tim View knocking on the door per usual. Yeah, third and seven. And it's Beckstead looking left side. Beckstead going to be close to a first down. He picked up six. Needed one and more decision 14, time here for Micah the Beckstead. He gets down to this. I don't see the kicker, and the kicker's like, ah, I'm probably not going to kick it in anyways. For the and with Gila Man Kasuga coming out, it looks like they're going to be going for it. And if I had Micah Beckstead in the field, backfield, I'd probably go for too. it too. I would too. Yep. If I had Helaman throwing the ball, I'd probably go for it too. Oh, good clap right there. Solid clap. Didn't draw him that time. <laughs> you can always tell a good quarterback by how they clap. Kasuga looking end zone incomplete, was trying to get it to Nakua. Pass intended for number 10. Looks like a little bit of miscommunication there for sure. Yeah, and uh, it looked like almost the timing on the routes wasn't quite synced up. And that ball really got to the spot quickly on Nakua before he could really get pause on it. And Tim Buell will turn it over. So the East defense gets that first stop they needed here in this second half. Just like they drew it up, they're like, hey, we got to get a stop this half. We got to get going. And they did a great job. Yeah. So we'll see if the offense can find its rhythm. They've been really kind of putting a lot of third and longs tonight. That's probably been the biggest issue for East. Well, it's because you've got a ferocious D-line and a middle linebacker that every team in the country would like to have. They're trying that right side. Amone shaking off defenders. And Amini Amone taking this up for a gain of nine. Good start here for the Leopards and Amone. Yeah, got to get to the ball quick. There's not a lot of time left in this game. Got to get rolling. Yeah. Ten on the play. That'll be. I mean, even Tim View that drive, they don't score, but they take five and a half minutes off the clock. That's really going to shorten up this second half. In yeah. A game where you trail by four possessions. I think Tim View's like, we got to get at least one more touchdown on the board to seal this game. Yeah. And. It's like Nakembe Mutombo came out and said, no, 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 the East defense is here. Well, I'll tell you who just said, no, no, no. It's your guy, Siale Acera. They try Fanua, and Siale says, no, no, no. <laughs> my favorite dude off the field, my scariest dude on the field, Siale Acera. Wow. He's got to be at what, seven, eight tackles tonight? Oh. I thought you were going to say he's got to be at at least 240, and I'm thinking 260. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. He, yeah. He reminds me of a Noah Sewell, to be honest with you. Yeah. Second and 14 here for the Leopards. McCormick, the pitch. Fanua. Nowhere and, to go. Yeah, it doesn't even get back to the line, I don't think. Might have been another loss on the play. Option pitch out to the right Yeah, side. looks 24. like the sticks are walking the wrong way yep. for Brandon Maddich and yep. the East Loss High Panthers. The play. Tackle made by number 44, Ephraim Muavesi. Ephraim Muavesi. Third and don't sleep on him. He's got offers to Leopards. UNLV and all over. Muavesi's been stout this year for Tim View and the other Tim View games we've done. He's had big games. You've talked about... Uh, Spencer Fano, like, there, there's a lot of guys for this Tim View D. I'll talk about Spencer Fano all day. I love that kid. McCormick looking oh, deep and oh. just overthrows Barker. Boy, he made a great move in the line of scrimmage. It was the timing there forced to be a little delayed. Three yards off, and he's locked the punt. Now the punt. So Tim View gets another opportunity. East 
Had a good go, but didn't quite get there on time. And it looks like we've got a helmet coming off. So do they have the right amount of guys? Three, six, nine, 10, 11. Yep. Yeah, and you're in danger here. <laughs> Running clock, 35 point difference in the second half. <laughs> Tim, you could have really good field position. They're knocking on the door, getting that clock moving even quicker here in this second half as that punt away. <laughs> and I the love Amone, but he is a dangerous punter. And there's dirty laundry on the field. Let's see what's Punch going on. Boy, do they have a roughing the kicker. Amone was down on the field. And there were a couple of Timview players there kind of giving him fives. And that is the indication from Amine. He's thinking, hey, we, we got this thing back. So Amine, why I said he's got an interesting punting style. He just throws the ball in the air with a prayer, swinging at it. You got to have two hands, one hand, guide the ball down and punch it. He just says, throw the ball out and here we go. Personal foul. Roughing it the was a roughing the kicker penalty. So rather than Tim, you having it with good penalty. field position, the penalty will give East a first down. Does it? Is it an automatic first down? I thought down? he signaled the first down. Looks like it. And, a first and yes, I think it is efforts. because it's a personal foul. Man, is there ever a non-personal foul? Just kind of like a not-so-personal foul. <laughs> I've never heard them call a not-so-personal foul. I'll have to talk to my official friends and see if that's a call. Like, come out with a eh, not-so-personal foul. Just kind of like, it wasn't aggressive, it wasn't personal. It was well, they, just a foul. They used to have that with the face mask, right? You had the personal foul face mask, and they had the incidental face mask. What if it's an incidental foul? Like an incidental, you ran into the punter. Well, they used to have that too. They had running into the punter and then roughing the punter. And then no one liked the judgment aspect of it. So they're like, all right, we'll just throw 15 yards on everything. So. Uh, freaking refs. You can't win. You can't win. Second and short. Amone through the lane. First down. Gain of and four. And the middle to number two, Amini Amone. Amini Amone putting the game on his back like you'd He's expect from the, the senior. Yard line. He's like, I'll take the roughing the puncher. Touchdown. Nothing East. wrong with that. Moves it up to the 38-yard line inside of four minutes to go. Ooh. East has, has to be wary of this clock. Only three minutes left. Yeah. Well, just under four. Oh, movement up front. <laughs> this will march oh, east called. backwards. The a five -yard penalty. There's First some jawing down on the field. It's getting a little chippy, getting a little dirty, getting a little doughy. Thanks to Dirty Dough a couple weeks ago for bringing us cookies. I know, right? That was Ooh. awesome. Wouldn't mind another warm cookie again. <laughs> Throwing it out there. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. I always laugh. People are like, why don't you ask for different things? You always ask for cookies. They're like, I'm a fat kid at heart. They're like, why don't you ask for money? I was like, Dusty, let's get that one going. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing Venmo's out there. <laughs> First and 15, Fanua. And, oh boy, Whoa. Fanua's staying on his feet. Boy, that's a tough run there by Fanua picking up six. It's good to see him back on the field. Remember, he left. Late in the first he half, he had the run a little bit Michael earlier, Fonua. didn't get a chance to talk about it. Game Good to see Fanua back on the field here. For it's hard. Eight Without Fanua on the field, you don't have that end around threat. Yeah. You don't have any of those things. And you've just got Amini Amone where it's like, we're going right at you. And you talk about Fanua. This is a young man. He was averaging 11 yards a touch coming into the game tonight. Ooh, that's wee. insane. That's some Micah Beckstead numbers right it there. It is. Yeah. Second. And a short Ted. This is little. Oh. Boy, and he's taken down. See Ali Asera there. Two points Jarek for the takedown for Asera. <laughs> Peter Asera, be proud of your boy because he's an absolute dude. Offense. That's a young man that uh, you could say spends time in the weight room. Yes, yes, he does. In the weight room and the lunch room. Healthy eats, though. It's a, it's a lot of protein, Moose. Everyone asks me, they're like, what does it take to get my kid to the Division One level? I'm like, do you have a Costco membership? <laughs> You're going to be using it a whole lot. Yes, you are. Oh, they tried the sweep, and there is nowhere to go. There's a bunch of T-Birds there, including Jacob Rust. Yeah, plethora, oh, bunch. The There's just a whole heap of T-Birds coming after Steven him. Strong. 
That'll bring up fourth. We'll bring up a fourth and seven here. And boy, if you're East, look, offense looks to be staying on the field, and I don't blame them. You gotta get something. As long as it's not fourth and 15, you gotta try it. Well, especially being at midfield, and, and look, here's the thing. This is about where East or Timview would have had possession after the punt anyway. So, you're, oh, you're, kind you're of doubting the with, punter? No, I'm just saying. Come no, on. This is when they punted. I know, I'm just okay, kidding. all right. I'm joking. Here's McCormick. And oh, caught. Matthew Frederick. Frederick with the reception. That has been the same play they've dialed up when they've needed yards 16, down the field, Matthew and it Frederick. works again here for the tight end. How do you lose Frederick, the six foot six behemoth? You can't. He literally stands out on the field for East. It's like, oh, I didn't see him. Come on. <laughs> if it's a Britton Covey out there, I'd be like, you know what? I didn't see him either. Yeah, but, it's not. And big shout out to Britton Covey, who's always watching the Tim View East rivalry from he, Philadelphia. He, he, tell you, he. he he was a problem for a lot of teams, including East, in the playoffs. Oh, it doesn't matter what the Here's other McCormick. jersey is. Guess who <laughs> was looking there for his tight end, but that was thrown behind uh, him, I think intentionally. Intended again for yeah, 16, Frederick, Frederick is a creative play player, for number 16, but he may go the ways of yet. Blake Freeland at BYU and, and be ready to start kick-stepping back. I mean, he's a big frame. Yeah, but I said the same thing to Isaac Rex. When Isaac Rex got called to Samoa, and I said, I can't wait to see you come back and be kick-stepping. <laughs> and he got mad at me. He's like, I'm not a lineman, Moose. I'm trying to shake that. Uh, He's like, I'm going to be a tight end. Second and 10. Motion by Fanua. McCormick keeping it right side ahead for a gain of four on the run. Quarterback keeper. They did the not start the clock. Eight, Tucker McCormick. Still haven't started the clock. Stopped at the 39 yard line. Excuse they me, don't want to start the clock. Line. We're just going to pause. 42 seconds on the clock here. Still there we go. The hey, Third down. Why you had the clock? It's not started. Heads up. Oh, there we go. It's their world. We're just living in it, yeah. Dane. Yeah. That's what I find out. It doesn't matter how many times you insult a ref, they still stay out there and say, We're on the field. You're not. That's right. They'd also argue, we know the rules better than you do, which is true as well. Debatable. Third and six. <laughs> Here's McCormick. Oh. Stepping up. Oh. Nope. Going down. Sack. That was not 54. That was 24. Matthias Sack Lassa. from Lassau. Yeah. Matthias Lassau got an offer to Cal last week. Mm. Good of for course. him. So he's smart. Good for yeah. him. You that gotta be. End of the third end quarter. 35-7. Tivview leading east. Start of the fourth quarter. Fourth and 11 for the Leopards. Oh, there's movement all over the place. Yeah. You're lined up off Trying to shake the up bottom. the formation here a little bit. Oh, there's a pass and a little behind him. Pass falls incomplete. Tried to get that will take over on to Kafusi. But East will turn it over on downs. This is where you just kick a field goal. Say, screw it, let's go. Look, if it, if it crosses the goal line, it's yep. a touchback, right? Yep, I'd be kicking a field goal. Well, that was fourth down, so. Was it? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So they should have oh, kicked a field goal. They should have kicked yeah. a field goal. Yeah. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. My bad. You're good. Gosh. Look, quarter breaks always kind of, it, it messes up our rhythm as a broadcaster. People don't appreciate that. I'm not, not in mid-season form yet. <laughs> 
Everyone's like, how do you do it, Moose? Lots of research. Lots of research. Moose spends hours in the library each week. Yep, historical facts and data. First down. Oh, Case on in there. Run here, huh? Yeah, when you got Case on Villa in there, the offense completely changes. Yeah. Yeah, you wonder if uh, Kasuga's night is done. Yeah. I would say yes. I mean, why, why risk him to injury, right? Game in hand. You got one next week. Keep him healthy. So... This T-Bird staff has a heater on the sideline. That's a veteran move right I there. I notice I'm quite jealous, actually. Dane, we got to step our game up. If there's any heating companies. Oh, look at this. Hey, guess what? Beckstead with a run across midfield of the 45. First down, Tim Man, the Beckstead diamond certified. Yeah, hey, if Coleman play. Camping or I any of those want to give us, you know, a little heat stove and we can talk to Rhino about getting us a propane tank, we can make things happen here, Moose. No, this is what we're doing, Dane. I'm a genius. We gotta call Traeger. Traeger, we need a Traeger behind us. <laughs> local right, look, Utah company. Here's the deal. Traeger, you guys show up six hours before we get there. You yes. start the meat. We will rate the meat. <laughs> we'll talk about it on air. The it's whole win, time. Win, win, win. I won't even talk about football. I'll talk about Traeger the whole time. First down, Tim View to One. Uh, Nene. Oh. Brought down behind the line. Yeah, Great stop there the by the Leopard defense as that was Patefa once again. Yeah, Patefa. 52 is having himself a good game. He's been good. Been good for this East D. Yeah. Different Tim View. They're going to take their time. Bleed the clock. And my goodness, Tim View's O line. I can't say enough good things about them. They might be my O line of the week. Yes. Yes. I mean, I think we were we were kind of talking off air. We were like, does Micah Beckstead have 150 yards in the first quarter? <laughs> he might have. First series, it feels like. Well, yeah. I mean, it was 80 in the first series alone. As this Ooh. is being back to the line of scrimmage. Pop there. You the saw it. See, Papa Mateelu came in Game just a junior. But, whoa, there's a reason that man has the most sacks in 5A. Yeah. I would say he's the state sack leader. But there's a young man at South Summit that has like 30 sacks on the year. So I don't know if it counts or not. But wow, Papa's a dude. Third and 10. Third and 10. Super fun. Oh. Looking deep, Nakua. Oh! Just no. through the fingertips and incomplete. Boy, Nakua knows he had another That's opportunity for a touchdown incomplete. as in Number coverage play, for East 10, was Hatukolo, who has been really Number good for 10, this East secondary. And who threw it? But Helam and Kasuga, they're like, hey, we need someone to chuck the ball 55 yards on a rope. Who can do it? Oh, Helaman, get off the bike. Get away from the heater. Yeah. Come on back in. Yeah. We want to yeah. see that big old arm coming in, buddy. So it'll be fourth down here for Timview. Tim View, really interesting. They're doing a college punt formation, which I don't like in high school. Why is that, Moose? I don't like it in high school because... Oh. Boy, good pressure there by East. Yeah, great pressure. Get on that ball. It might bounce back. Oh, lucky bounce forward, to be honest with you. I don't like it because Punt a lot of times... At the 12-yard line where East You just don't get over. enough coverage downfield. And so I like you have to so really many spread it out. To block? Yeah. So if you spread it out, get everyone going down, it matches people up, and it allows you to do some tricky things as well. So East will come back out on offense. Trailing 35-7, possession starting at their own 12. East has done a great job on defense this second half. Tim yeah. hasn't pulled their starters, but Maddich said, get after them, let's go, and he's done a great job. Holding this potent Tim Tim View offense to zero. No score in the third quarter. No score in the fourth quarter so far. McCormick stepping up, trying to escape. Yeah, I was wondering if we were going to get a flag. We do have one. Quarterback scramble around the left side for number eight, Tucker McCormick. There is a really good job, but I can see the hold from here, and it looks like the refs brought their glasses this week. And here's the thing. Moose, Moose never likes penalty flags, so when he says, yeah, that, that deserves one, you know. Usually I'm a let the boys play guy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Even me on that one, I was like, I don't know about that one, you guys. Yeah, yeah. so that will be half the distance to the goal here on the Leopards, back to the six. 
Oh, and this is what you don't want behind the sticks. It really makes it difficult, especially with a run-based offense, right? Be, staying on schedule, so critical, so important. And it's just, it, frankly, we talk about a lot of third and longs tonight. We've had a lot of first and long. Like, East has really had to play behind schedule for a large portion of the contest. Yeah. Timview came to play. They got to rest up for two weeks. Everyone's feeling healthy. East was like, we played last week. We had a rough go and put up 70 points. And up a but number two, it Ami takes a Amuri. lot out of the body to run this offense. Yeah. Not just Here to go to against it, but running against it is rough. Well, and that's a great point, Moose, because you look at this and, yeah, the East, they scored 70 on Skyline. And a lot of people would say, oh, well, they dominated them. And they did. But that's the same team they had to play in Week 10. So you're going up against the same squad, which there generally is extra motivation by the losing side in that contest. Tenyu comes in, they had a first round bye. So they're coming in with like, we've had two weeks, we're feeling good, like, let's go. And and it, it's kind of looked that way a little bit tonight, where it's like Tenyu just feels fresh everywhere. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Running out of time. He was out of the end zone. That will not be a safety. Safety Everyone's right putting up the prayer hands. Steven Strong. They're like, come on, give us a safety. Not going to happen. Strong with a big sack. And it will be third and long. All the way back to the one. Third and very long. Now you just got to get out of the shadows of the goalposts yeah. because you need 15 yards, 14, sometimes 13, to really get a punt off. Well, and we've seen actually good rush by the special teams unit of Timview tonight. Yeah. They have no problem tackling the punter. They've shown that before. They're like, we thought you were running back still. Wrong again. Third and 21. Looking up the middle. Nice gain oh, here on wow. third down. Still on his feet. It might have been Amone with the carry there. Up the middle to number two. It was Amone. Amone. Able to get back the penalty yards the and more as he takes it up to the 14. But it'll be fourth down. For <laughs> yep. It always makes my day when you see the big boys running off the field, and making sure that everything's taken. Usually you sub out your nose guard for a returner, and the nose guard has to get coming quick. Yeah. And they're like, here I come. But big time punt opportunity here. From inside his own five, kicks away from Amone. Oh, this one pick off that the up. bounce. You don't have the Britton Covey type returner here. Britton Covey, even when you're like, raise your hand. Yeah. He's like, nay, I don't raise my hand for anybody. So Timview will start at their own 45. Six and a half minutes to go here in the final quarter. Moose, early thoughts. Don't know the winner of Spanish Fork and Wasatch, but from what you've seen from Timview tonight, is this finally the group that can get back to a state championship game or win a state championship? Well, I've been hearing it the last five. Ooh, here we go, Kaysaw. Yeah, nice little run here by Villa. Uh, if I were to call that a caller, it might have been a horse caller. On Villa, gain of eight on the play. It'll be second I don't know if that's two, against the rules in high school, is it? <laughs> Dane's giving me a look like, no, I, uh, I, learn the rules, Moose. No, no, no. For, for like me, it's, college. it's one word. The hand is up there. I just don't know that he got brought down by it. Okay. But I, I have no idea. I'm not an official. Yeah. All right. So I I'll, am. I'll, I'll let you answer that question. I'd call a horse caller there. But, anywho, no, this could be the Tim View team. What I like is they have the old line to do it. The unsung heroes get sung about a lot. There's more offers on that old line than just about the rest of the state with Eli Conavalu, Izzy, Spencer Fano especially. And there's some dudes there. I mean, even right there, they're getting on second and two, they're getting five. Yeah. And, and the running back isn't 35, getting touched Luke very Akwaya. easily. So, Tackle Luke Oswaya, their fullback, their big back, their bruising back. That's enough. The one that's going to get the five yards. But I think this could be the Tim View team. Yo, know, it feels like they've been so close the last three, four years, and it's always ended just shy, largely at the hands of Orem. Um, that's not true last year, but in previous years, that, that had always kind of been that, that postseason matchup. They could run into that again. But for me, it's felt like Tiffy has always maybe peaked a little early. It doesn't yeah. feel that way about this group, seeing them here in, in the second round of the playoffs. No, every time I've seen them, they've gotten better and better for sure. 
Another run here by the T-Birds ahead, a gain of three. And, and I hope that doesn't irritate Timmy fans. That's not the intention. Um, Tackle made it's been a seven. fantastic What's your program. Twitter, Dane? Yeah, Dane underscore Stewart. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been, it's I'll been be a great... DMing you after this game. <laughs> How dare you disrespect my Thunderbirds? It's, it's been a great program, and, and it's been a program that's had a lot of postseason expectations of, of getting back to a state championship and winning a state championship. You look at what they had done uh, during their run. I mean, this is incredible. They had... Um, a 10-year streak where they had double-digit win seasons. Wow. But here's the amazing thing, Moose. Since 2015, it's only happened once. And so when you when you talk about, like, yes, it's a fantastic program, but it has felt like the expectations That's that have the been there, six, it's been hard for them Villa, to hit that in recent five, years. Chase and Gunner. it's just a matter of time until they, they hit it again. And that we see it's like, this could be the group. Well, starting with Coach Wong in the two twenty two thousands, yes, I it was, was like, Coach Van Orton before that. Van Orton, and then Coach Wong carried the yes baton. Yep. yep. But I remember playing Timview my senior year, and we're like, finally, a four A team going to play a five A team, and they had some dudes: Chris Badger, Bronson Kafusi, Corbin Kafusi, Nate Bridgewater. They had a Covey on that team. They had everyone, and I was like, ooh, this is a scary team, but we still beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Play clock down to one. They get it away. Kasuga back in at quarterback. First down run. Gain of about and three uh, there the for Timbu. The, uh, the Windcopter is exiting the premise. We <laughs> saw it land all the way back in the first half. Kyle enjoying a little Timbu action here tonight. Must be nice, Kyle. I'm just gonna drive my car on I-15. I was gonna say, like you. I can't believe he didn't offer us a ride. Like, come on, man. I played for you, Kyle. I would like a ride back. Kyle's one of the good ones in this whole entire industry. He's probably driving to his mom's house right now to say hi. She lives in Timview Boundaries and it's is got, a proud Utah fan it, in the middle of Cougar Country. It's got to be nice to not. I mean, look, college head head football coaches never sleep. But having the game in the rearview mirror for this week, and you know, like get to come out on Friday night. Brother on the staff here, Tim Hughes, a run up the left side there by Tuone. Luke Atuaya. Yeah. The Long this week for Utah, Utah which is nice. Luke Atuaya. I love all the Atuayas. From Donnie to Marky Mark, it's just fun to see them being successful here at Tim View still. You're right. I said Tuone. My apologies. You're correct. I got that one wrong. It, it was Atuaya. You can tell it's an Atuaya from here. Yeah, I know. That's, Just how they run, how they look. Great family. That's what you get for not looking at your roster before you say the name, right? Association sometimes. I can't say half better. your names, but I can get you right each and every time. I'm like, Dave. Appreciate that. <laughs> third, third and four <laughs> here for Tim View. <laughs> Big third down. Got Little a pass. screen. Oh. And, oh, he was down. If they rule it complete. It's right at the line of scrimmage, so it's really just a matter of completion percentage for Kasuga. Regardless, it'll be a fourth and four here for Tim Hughes. This is where the kicker's coming out saying, Coach, let me kick it. Let me kick it. And Helaman's going to want that one back. It's yeah, you can see that cold. arm motion like, come on, man. He's like, it's cold outside. I'm not used to this. I'm from Hawaii. I came here, and I wasn't expecting cold. Fourth and four. Offense still on the field here for Tim. You 207 on the clock. So we're going to let our clock just kind of wait here as that catches up. Our apologies there. Kasuga looking. Has a man. Oh, Nakua hit the brakes. As I love that route concept. You got two routes. They said the 10, one vertical. Nakua, Nakua just comes down underneath. Down the first down, Tim. Yeah. Helmets were flying. Two. That's the thing. This is a physical game. If you're an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman, this is the film you should be watching. Both of these teams are absolute dudes on each side of the ball. And there's D1 scholarships littered all over there. These players won't just be seeing each other in high school. They'll be seeing each other after in great, great competition. Be a first and goal for Timview. Having scored in this second half, Moose, you talk about the effort East has made defensively. It's been impressive. This game's flown, man. We're, we're not even two hours from kick. And we're inside of two to go here in the in the fourth quarter. They'll run it, left side, stacked up, gain of a couple. 
Hand off to number 35, Luke Atuaya, a gain of a couple on the play. These are It'll fun be games because the five both of the these Beatles. teams have great rushing attacks, and they're quick. Tackle on the they're like, wow, I can still shot. make it to dinner after this. Yeah. Moose, I'll tell you what. We got one more, one more week, quarterfinal action next week. We might have a real doozy next week. Oh, really? Just tell you, I mean, we have to see how action finishes up tonight. Alta? We've been we've been playing a few cards this week, trying to you know. Who are get we the, playing cards with? I, I can't tell you that on air until like now until my set. I'm curious. Come on, Dave. Or, that's what we call a tease. Tease. Second and goal and a penalty flag here. I want to sip the tea. Let's just say pass the tea. Spill the tea. What's the tea phrase? Tease. No, I know. There's something that's like oh. Tea. Spill the tea. Spill the tea? Yeah, I, I can't remember. Yeah, I I'm know. old now, Dane. I've got gray in my hair. And it moves, it only gets worse, man. Don't tell me that. Yeah. The reason why I keep my hair short is two things. One, if I grew it long, the bald spot would be more evident. And two, you'd see gray hairs all over. Well, you can bring the comb over. That's what I'll be doing in my life pretty soon here. Negative. I will I will bick it before I do the comb over. Don't. That puppy's coming off before. Yeah. Me and... Julius Caesar, I'm going to be growing out from the back and pushing it forward. I'm going out with some self-respect. Second and goal after the penalty from the 10. Atuaya, the carry, gets back to the line. Of number number four. Five, Third Luke down, coming Atuaya up. Around the right That's my next no sponsorship I'm looking play. for. Rogaine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I already take Propecia each and every day. You and Carl Malone, man. Carl Malone had a Rogaine sponsorship back in the day. Do you remember that? I don't. I do. It was a classic commercial. Oh, As a man. Sonics fan, a classic commercial, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I think King James might have the same one. He does. Uh, third and goal here from the 10. A knee, and that will do it. Tim View. The first Ninja half from Tim View of the year from line. the T-Birds. 35-7. The advantage of the break, the end of the game. and the that would be good score, enough as they will defeat the East Leopards. Who's your final thoughts on a player of the game? You know what? I want to give it to Micah Beckstead with all my heart. I should give it to the O-line. I want to give it to Kayson Villa for his amazing hold. After all that, I can only choose one. So, Micah Beckstead, you get our player of the game. Man, he came in with a vengeance and just punched the opposing defense right in the mouth. Tim, you with a statement tonight, 35-7. They end a three-game losing streak to the East Leopards and advance to the state quarterfinal where they will take on the winner of Spanish Fork and Wasatch. Want to thank you for joining us here for our second round coverage of the 5A State Playoffs. This is Bingham. My name is Dane Stewart. Have a great night, and we'll see you the rest of the way as you can catch playoff action, quarters, semis, championships right here on kslsports.com. Good night, everybody. Moose, thank you.